you clicked on this video, most likely you have pain, or you know someone who has pain, I'm so sorry. This is like, it's, it's pain that never ends, it's pain that worsens for no apparent reason, it's pain that just, it just takes over your whole life, it keeps you from doing the things you want to do, from, from living the life you want to live. Fibromyalgia has solutions. Let me explain. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Berglund. You've tuned into Common Sense Medicine. Today's discussion, fibromyalgia. Now, for those of you that don't know what fibromyalgia is, fibromyalgia is a chronic pain syndrome. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's go back in time. Okay, we're back in time. We're back in pre-1980. Pre-1980, people that had this, this problem, people that had chronic pain, were a lot of times called hypochondriacs. What happened was we kind of realized that their pain was real. We just didn't have a diagnosis for them. They didn't have osteoarthritis. They didn't have rheumatoid arthritis. They didn't even have lupus or any of these other chronic pain syndromes. They had something different, but we couldn't nail down why. So we gave it a name. We called it fibromyalgia. What is it? The experts have said there's 18 points. If they have 11 of these 18 points, this person has fibromyalgia. It also includes usually a strong amount of chronic fatigue. So it also has insomnia and some hormonal issues, typically some yeast issues, even some depression. What? You want to know what causes fibromyalgia? <laughs> we don't know. We don't actually know. All we've done is create a, a diagnosis that includes a bunch of people. These people may actually have fibromyalgia from a variety of different sources, maybe three, four, five different reasons all coming together. What I do know from being in private practice and for having a, a wide spectrum of chronic pain patients and a lot of fibromyalgia patients, all right? First of all, this is not a waste bucket, waste bucket diagnosis. I'm more than happy to tell someone they have fibromyalgia. Why? Because it, it at least tells us this is not this, not this, not this, not this. It also gives them a name for it. They don't think, I'm just making it up or maybe if I just pull my bootstraps up, I wouldn't have a problem. No, you actually have a problem. Now from practice, I know that if I treat these people for food allergies, I clean up their diet. Now an easy way to do that right off the top, go on a meat, veggies, fruit, a really what I would call a clean diet. That moves a lot of grain, a lot of dairy, a lot of what I call junk food, but also allergenic food from the diet. The other one is you probably have something called thyroid resistance. If you have fibromyalgia, I know you've been to the doctor. You've probably been to the rheumatologist, you've been to the GI specialist, you've been to the, maybe you've been to the sleep clinic, okay? You have all this fatigue, so I'm sure they've done thyroid tests. And most likely, they either said you don't have a thyroid problem, or they treated you with a certain amount of levoxyl, levothyroxine, or Synthroid, but you're still in fatigue. What I'm going to tell you is that you probably still have more thyroid that your body needs, either from the medication they're giving you beyond that, or the fact that they haven't given you any medication, that's what you need. There's a thyroid issue, there's food allergies, there's a yeast overgrowth, a lot of times there's some either estrogen excess or some testosterone insufficiency, so there's that, that balance of hormones there. The other thing we need to consider, even though we don't know what's causing this, one of the things that we've has been postulated, because this is an energy thing, I'm going to make a big circle here, okay? This circle is called the Krebs cycle. It's also called the TCA cycle. This is a chemical reaction. It starts here, goes around, comes up. So in this process, glucose comes in, right, with oxygen present, and it makes, your body makes 40 ATP. 40, okay? But oxygen has to be present, glucose has, glucose has to be, and all these chemicals, succinate, malate, um, oxaloacetate, a variety of different chemicals in this biochemical pathway, okay? And all the enzymes have to be present. If they aren't all there, the glucose will go, ah, I can't use this cycle to make 40 ATP, which is the body's fuel. I'll go over here to the lactic acid cycle or the anaerobic metabolism. Now the problem with this is it only makes like 4 to 8 ATP per glucose. So that's a huge reduction from the Krebs cycle. The problem is, 
if there's oxygen, there's not one of these chemicals, it, it has to go there. Now, the also the problem is, not only does it make less fuel, it has a waste product. This is clean. This doesn't produce any waste at all. This produces lactic acid, which is irritating to the muscles. What we end up with is, not only do you get less energy, you get pain too. Hey! Great. Fibromyalgia, how do you help it? Multi-pronged approach. Food, thyroid, hormones, helping the energy cycles. If there's one of these things that are missing, make sure there's plenty of oxygen coming in. Because you have chronic pain, all right? If you consider that, here's another circle. I know I'm full of circles today. Sorry about this. But here's your circle of activities that you do in the course of a day. It's tempting because doing, pushing the limits, well, you know will increase some of your pain either today or tomorrow, right? So if you stay clear of the edge of this pain and stick to the middle of the things you can do and basically don't do anything or barely do anything, the problem is your circle will get, of activity will get smaller and smaller and smaller. So now when you want to go do something, you have less to do before pain kicks in. The more you stay in the middle, the smaller your circle gets, the smaller your circle gets. So what I tell you, even though it creates pain, Continue to smartly push the limits of your body. By smartly, I mean don't go get 60 yards of dirt when you don't do any of that and start carrying around your yard and do it. You are going to be out for three weeks. That's dumb. But smart means I know where my limit is and I go right to that limit every day. I continue to try and push my Now, you may have a day where you go, I just can't today. But then next day, you make sure you get out there and you push the limits of the activity. Continue to be active, continue to be functional, continue to keep your social relationships alive, and find an alternative practitioner that can help you get over your chronic pain and get you through some of these situations. This is Dr. Michael Berglund. I want you pain-free. I want you to have a great day. God bless. Now, most of these people most of them were considered malingerers. People that just made up, people that just were, um, what's the name of that, Taylor? The people, when they, people, Fakers? People that lay in bed all the time and. Invalids? The, the, not, hip, not hypocrisy, not their. Invalid? Liar? No, no, no. They call them. They call them um, playing hooky. <laughs> this is going to be at the end of the video, probably. What do they, what do they call? those people!